Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and uh, today uh, I'm gonna be going a little bit around the con like checking out some stuff um, so yeah I don't know I don't know what this video is gonna be actually uh, I came out here kind of late and stuff and uh, <laughs> oh this long hair this long hair dude the cars that sits right now is absolutely like peeled off right now it's it's bald you know what I mean by the way that's the angle right now about the, the drift build uh, let me know down below the best way to get angle on a budget. I know you can cut your knuckles and stuff like that. But then again, I have no idea how you like cut your knuckles and stuff on this car particularly. So I'll I'll show some more uh, like suspension setup in the next video. Next video we're gonna be uh, like pulling the the suspension off, if you will, like uh, springs, shocks, um, control arms. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That suspension explained for you, uh, explain, explain for you right there. So, and yeah, that that's gonna be the next thing. So uh, we just removed the sway bar and uh, it was pretty damn easy. Uh, the sway bar was actually cracked in one of like the brackets or whatever, so that's pretty damn bad. Um, the Pontiac, the Pontiac 350. This bad boy came out, and we got it up on the crane and everything, like solid, like really solid mounted with uh, the transmission bolts, four bolts right there. And then, thanks to all the the viewers, by the way, for suggesting this, and also I pretty much knew it myself that I should get like an American standard set, like. Uh, a socket set or whatever like or a, a wrench set or something with like something in American sizes to get that uh, that starter wheel off but your boy just forgot something totally forgot something so this day I came out today and uh, I just remembered that I found this in the car this is a uh, this this is a free three quarters top Three quarters of an inch, I guess. Is that what you call? It? Let me know. American viewers gonna hit now. A three quarter inch top or whatever, uh, or three quarter whatever. I don't know how you like use use the, the slang, if you will. <laughs> I don't know. So a three quarter top or whatever. I found that, and then I just slammed on my my torque wrench right here and uh, locked it, uh, locked the wheel or whatever uh, while on the engine stand, and it just went bam. Bam, bam, next bolt, next bolt, just clickety clack, man. It went like butter, you know what I mean? And uh, that was just real cool. So uh, now we have it on here. And luckily, can you see that right there? I got that engine hoist till Monday, thanks to my co worker again. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> so uh, I'm able to pull the engine back off the stand and then get the, the starter wheel off. By the way, I propose starter wheel. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna need some new bolts for it because they are totally like ruined. Like the the frets are not gone, but they are absolutely destroyed, and like m uh, metal shavings and whatever were were coming off as I screwed it off. So uh, probably need some new bolts right there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start the engine build. And next video, I actually think in. I actually think the next video is going to be an engine update video, me talking about engines, also because I get so many questions about engines. Uh, or mostly, I actually get like comments about, don't LS, don't LS, don't LS, everything is just LS, LS. Yo, boy, if I wanted an LS, I would just like buy some Chevy or whatever, like, come on, it's a Pontiac, of course we're going to keep it Pontiac in it, Ex except if I find like a really, really cheap 426 Hemi or the new Chrysler crate engine with a thousand horsepower, whatever you know what I mean. Uh, other than that, we're gonna keep this thing Pontiac. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Next video 900 horsepower Tesla engine. How are you doing today, my boys? You getting any hate comments on the daily? Eh? Uh, that, that's that's what's going down to this video. I'm, I'm gonna just look at a few things. I have no idea what I'm gonna record or whatever, but a sway bond, a few like steering links and center link and idle arm and etc stuff like that is probably gonna get removed today because I I really want to get the frame like stripped down and all uh, that pro progress or whatever is kind of happening in the background of all these other videos that you don't really see um, I'll, I'll try to include it more uh, when like the suspension come off or whatever then the next video after that probably gonna be like Dropping the frame, yo! Dropping the transmission too to get the frame off on exhaust and I don't know stuff like that. And, um, and then the progress comes out of like grinding the whole frame down, getting it painted. Then probably by then my new uh, suspension parts have arrived. So we're gonna install the QA1 adjustable racing shocks. The Hot, hot, hot chicks, hot ch I still don't know how to pronounce it. Please let me know. Okay, but whatever, we're gonna install those uh, lowering two, two inch lowering springs. And uh, then we're also gonna have the CPS performance control arms dropping in your adjustable arms in every single ankle you can imagine. And that's of course gonna be with some semi racing bushings, I'm pretty sure. They are not like fully. Uh, polyurethane or whatever like so your booty hole literally gonna get shaken out when you drive over a bump but uh, <laughs> but uh, they they are a little bit more firm or whatever and uh, then we of course after doing that like having the whole frame painted and installed the suspension we're gonna start to like buy sway bars and uh, we're gonna start to get like all the other accessory to the to the thing uh, or to the thing to the frame I already have a new cinder link over I have a new idle arm, I'm gonna get a new uh, pitman arm probably. Uh, I'm not quite sure because I don't think the bushing really uh, is ruined on that, but I'm gonna get one anyways because it's about to go, it's kind of old rubber, you know. So everything steering wise too is gonna get replaced. I mean everything from this point of the steering and down is gonna be new, everything, everything, frame, paint. I mean, damn, you, control arms, springs, every damn thing. The only thing I really want to find, and if you guys know where to buy that, spindles with removable calibers are just new spindles, custom spindles, newer spindles, just another spindle than this. This sucks. I want something else. Because in these spindles, your caliber, or whatever brake caliber up here, let me try to show you. Up here. It's stuck into like your your whole setup, if you know what I mean. Uh, or like the slots where you put like your, your brake pads and uh, it's it's kind of limited. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, uh, please leave a like and a subscribe down below. I know this was a lot of talking. This is more of an update video, and then tomorrow. We are either doing a talking video about the whole plan for the engine and stuff like that or we are dropping the whole suspension and getting the suspension off the frame. Expect either of the videos uh, because both of those videos are probably going to get recorded tomorrow. Uh, but which one I'm going to upload, I have no damn idea. But uh, yeah, today's best part was finding this Stanley 3 quarter top to get the 
the startup we love. That was hella nice. Thank you for watching. See you later.